What's up everyone, it's Kovarks here, back on the Kovark Sports Channel, and today we are going to be giving you our predictions for the Iowa State Cyclones in 2021. They had one of their best seasons in program history last year, going to the Big 12 Championship, almost winning, which they had already beaten Oklahoma that season. Their only other losses came in a close loss to Oklahoma State on the road, Louisiana, which I'm not going to shame them for that. Louisiana was good. It's It was at the beginning of the season. I feel like we could kind of put that game off of their schedule. So just looking at the other 11 games, outside of that one, they are 9-2. and two. Oklahoma State was a really good team. They played them on the road and barely lost. And they went 1-1 one one against Oklahoma. I think it's obvious that this team was really good. They won a New Year's Six Bowl against Oregon. They have almost everybody on their team returning. Uh, they've got Brees Hall, who is a great running back. He is going to do a lot of good for them this year. Uh, they have Brock Purdy coming back. Last year he had 19 touchdowns, nine interceptions, 2,750 yards. So. Pretty good stats there for 12 games. And then in terms of receiving, their top receiver yards-wise was Xavier Hutchinson. He's back. In terms of touchdowns, it was Charlie Kolar. He's coming back. Like, their top five uh, receiving guys when it comes to yards, they're all coming back. So, this roster is absolutely incredible. I, I think that they're going to be a really good team. You got to watch out for them. They are going to make some noise in college football. They're a college football playoff contender. And five, ten years ago, if we would have told you about that, that Iowa State's going to be one of the best teams in the nation up there with Oklahoma and Alabama and Clemson. Maybe not that high, but very close. Most people wouldn't believe you. So, or they won't believe me telling you. So, this team is going to be really good. Uh, before I get into the schedule, I do have to say, though, that I am starting a brand new podcast soon with Brivical. Uh, he's one of my good friends. He does college football content. His channel is always linked in the description. But I will also have that college football channel linked in the description. So that way... You can go and check out our new podcast. There's a trailer up. First episode is coming out soon. It could even be out by the time you're watching this video because I am pre-recording these. So I don't know when you guys are seeing this. But either way, make sure to check that out if you like college football, which I assume you do if you're watching this. Now let's get into the schedule. So they were 7-6 and in 2019. They lost their bowl game that year to Notre Dame, I believe. And then in 2020, of course, it went 9-3. and three. Incredible year. That 9-3 and three record doesn't really tell you how good they actually were. Kind of like Florida last year. They went 8-4. and four. They were a much better team than 8-4. and four. Their record doesn't really tell you the full story. Same with Iowa State. So looking at the schedule, they start out with Northern Iowa. I'd be surprised if they lost. Iowa State typically struggles in these first games. In 2019, I believe they struggled. That may have been Northern Iowa, too. Uh, that game went into triple overtime, I think. But uh, then in 2020, of course, they lost to Louisiana. So sometimes they struggle with these. But this Iowa State team is probably better than 2020 and is for sure better than 2019. I think they take care of business, and then against Iowa, big rivalry, Cyhawk Trophy on the line, it's always a great one, it's been a while I think since Iowa State last won, it's at home, Iowa State I think is a little bit better, it's a rivalry, they're gonna wanna finally win this game, and I think they do, and start the season 2-0 before traveling out to play UNLV on the road. That's a strange one. Normally you don't see big teams like Iowa State going on the road to smaller teams, but either way, I think they should win that one. Same with Baylor. If this was like before a big game like Oklahoma, I'd be a little concerned because uh, 
I mean, Baylor's not the same as they were in 2019. They're still trying to get back to there. And even though it's on the road, I think I would still be able to take care of business. And then they have a bye week after Baylor and then another bye week, two bye weeks in a row on the 2nd and the 9th of October. Uh, then going into their next game, they're 5-0 and at Kansas State. Kansas State, they've pulled off upsets against Oklahoma the last two years. Maybe it's Iowa State's term, but not term, turn. <laughs> but, I mean, if you get two weeks off, I don't know how you could lose. Maybe it'll happen, I don't know, but this is definitely going to be a tougher stretch because you've got Kansas State on the road, Oklahoma State, West Virginia, then Texas, Texas Tech on the road. Like, the next six games, I could see you losing them. But Iowa State, they're really good. I think they'll be able to knock off Kansas State. Then Oklahoma State, I bet they're looking for revenge. It's at home. Oklahoma State, I believe, lost quite a bit, so they'll be more in the 8-4 and four range. So I think they win that one too. The big thing there is that it's at home. Now, I just talked about how they're... Iowa State's not the team where I think they're going to go 12-0. and 0. They're just not, no matter how good they are. I just... I mean, if they're like one of the best teams ever, of course. Yeah, if their roster's like that. But the way this team is set up, I don't see them going 12-0. and 0. West Virginia, on the road. You just had a tough game against Kansas State. A tough game against Oklahoma State. It's before Texas. You want to win that one? I think they struggle a bit here, and I think that West Virginia, it's in Morgantown, I think they get Iowa State there, and so the Cyclones fall to 7-1, and one. but I mean, starting the season 7-0 and one would be a big accomplishment for uh, Iowa State after beating Kansas State and Oklahoma State and Iowa, so yes, that's a poor loss, but they still control their own destiny if they went out. Then they've got Texas next. I think they probably win that one, kind of like Oklahoma State. Texas is maybe a bit better. But I think they come around. They're at home. They're fired up. They want to get back on track. They know they need to win this game. Uh, They won it last year on the road, now at home. I think they're able to get it done. They go 8-1. And then playing Texas Tech. Gotta be careful here. Right before Oklahoma, Texas Tech, kinda like Baylor. I think Texas Tech may be a little bit better, but you gotta be careful here. Cause crazier things have happened. So you can't be looking ahead to Oklahoma. It's on the road. I'm very nervous about this one when I look at the schedule, if I were an Iowa State fan, but I think Iowa State's good enough. I think they barely come out with a win. It's a big scare, but I think they get it done. And then you got two games left. You're nine and one at Oklahoma and TCU. TCU's at home. It's Friday, uh, day after Thanksgiving. I think they should be able to win that one. But against Iowa State, or not Iowa State, against Oklahoma, that's on the road. That's gonna be quite tricky. This is game day, I bet we'll be there. This is going to be a top 10, maybe even a top 5 matchup if some things happen. This game is huge for both teams. I know it's at Oklahoma, but I think this Iowa State team, they're really good. They're able to beat Oklahoma last year at home. I think they're going to come together. They're... They're kind of like Indiana. I think they like the underdog mentality. They've done it before in Norman. I think we see it happen. Iowa State gets it done against Oklahoma. Uh, They win that one. They win against TCU. They go to 11-1 on the season. By far one of the best. I don't know that much about Iowa State history, but one of the best, if not the best season in program history. This would be huge for them. I, I'm i really excited to see how this team turns out. They could have some incredible seasons down the line if they're able to keep this up. But I think just because they're a very veteran team, Brock Purdy, he's a senior. 
He's a great quarterback. Brees Hall, he is a junior. He's a great running back. You've got all these pieces coming together. I think an 11-1 season. I could easily see 10-2 and two if they lose to Oklahoma. Uh, I don't see 12-0, and 0, like I said. Um, I think 11-1 and 1 is probably your best-case scenario. 10-2, and 2, I don't really think we're going to see 9-3, and 3, but if some crazy things happen, it could end up that way. I mean, they went 9-3 and 3 last year, so you never know. But those are my predictions for the Iowa State Cyclones in 2021. I have them going 11-1. and 1. Make sure to let me know down below what you think about the Iowa State Cyclones and what your predictions are. Make sure to check out my podcast down below, trailer, of course, on the channel. And then make sure to subscribe so that way you know when the first episode comes out if it isn't out already. I want to thank you all very much for watching this video, and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.